friends today in this video we will discuss about the process of meiosis so if you look at this video if you look at this photo which is a family picture you will find that these children are not very much identical in look with to their mom and dad and these siblings are also not identical to each other they are inheriting chromosome from both mom and dad so what is the reason that they look different from their mom and dad and all these three children are inheriting chromosome from their mom and dad and why they are also differing from each other so this process is mainly governed through meiosis and what are the event that happens in this process we are going to discuss in this video so you know that meiosis is a process in which the gamete cells the haploid cells sperm cells as well as the egg cells are produced okay so these cells that are both haploid cells in the body are produced in the germ cells which are the gonads of male and females okay so this sperm cells you can see they are produced in the gonads of male as well as in the gonads of female so <coughs> what happens in this process of meiosis meiosis process occur in two different phase in the first phase of meiosis a cell with diploid number of chromosomes are formed and then in the second phase the gametes are produced which and all of them contains haploid number of chromosome okay this is different from the mitosis process okay so what happens in the process of mitosis the chromosomes are diploid in number in this case the daughter cells are identical to their parent cells okay and each daughter cells are diploid in nature however in this process of meiosis the gametes that are produced here they all of them are haploid in nature so this is where the difference of meiosis and mitosis lies now this is not the only difference that is between mitosis and meiosis there are several other difference that we will be discussing in this video okay so mitosis and meiosis are two different event in case of meiosis the chromosome number is reduced and a haploid cell are produced so this process of meiosis occur if you if you look at this cell cycle this this process of meiosis occur after g1 this is if this phase is g1 then s phase then g2 then this process of meiosis starts so we know that in this s phase s phase usually is responsible for the replication event so when you look at this cell when you look at this particular dna you see that dna are getting replicated in this s phase and chromosomes are aligned because a uh, replication is take place that means identical dna is getting formed and they align themselves to form sister chromatid and these sister chromatids are getting aligned with each other so once this replication gets over centrioles because the cell is moving towards this meiosis phase so this homologous chromosome needs to get separated okay so the centrioles move towards the opposite sides of the cell as you can see and what happens during the meiosis process one meiosis one in meiosis one the process phase the chromosome becomes condensed and when it becomes condensed they usually get shortened in size okay and they become more distinct so besides this uh, condensation of chromosome there are several other events that takes place inside the cell so what are the other events that are taking place inside the cell the one among them that is going side by side is the formation of spindle fiber one and the alignment of the homologous pair of chromosome now what is this homologous pair of chromosome so as we have discussed earlier that we are getting one chromosome from our mom and other chromosome from dad both of them are replicating and you can see that they have now their sister chromatids now just because both the chromosomes are same the homologous they are align themselves to form the homologous pair okay the one from the mom and dad sister chromatid pair and the other that from the one is from their mom and the other is from their dad so these two sister chromatid pair 
are aligning themselves they are getting attached themselves to form this homologous pair the tetrad basically and once this homologous pair is formed you can see this tetrad structure once this tetrad is formed another important event that takes place here which is different from mitosis what is that that is the crossing over of chromosome so as you can look at this particular region of uh, chromosome you can see they will start share you can see here they will start doing crossing over that it will involve the exchange of gene segment and because of the exchange of this gene segment you can see that there is a variation in the genetic composition will take place so if you look at this particular video you will find that genetic variation has occurred and this is what the difference between meiosis and mitosis the first one is the tetrad complex formation the second one is this genetic variation that is taking place here these two place does not take place in uh, mitosis why and this is the reason in case of mitosis every daughter cell that are produced they are identical to their mother cell however for this meiosis cell every gametes that we are getting they are not identical to their parent cell because of several event that are taking place inside this cell okay so this crossing over results in genetic variation so once this crossing over process is done so in this prophase one all of these events take place then the nucleus membrane the nuclear membrane gets disintegrated and then your chromosome will start getting attached to the spindle fiber so the attachment of this chromosome to the spindle fiber will mark the beginning of metaphase one okay so in this metaphase one the spindle fiber will go and they will attach to this sister chromatid okay mainly in this kinetochore junction and uh, there is another difference between mitosis and meiosis here you can see that in case of mitosis the spindle fibers were getting attached to the sister chromatid but in this case the spindle fiber will attach to the non sister chromatids okay so these are the non sister these are the sister chromatids but these are the non sister chromatids okay so they will attach to one of the sister chromatids in each homologous pair so this is the another difference between mitosis and meiosis so in case of your metaphase one the spindle fiber will attached to one of the sister chromatid in each pair in each tetravalent code okay so one here and another one here however in case of mitosis they are getting attached to both the sister chromatids so what happen after in the metaphase once they get uh, attached they align themselves in the metaphase split and once they get attached to this metaphase split this chromosome pair will then start getting separated now in this case you will see that they are separating on the basis of homology that means one homologous pair is getting separated in this case and one homologous pair is again getting separated in this case but in case of mitosis this sister chromatids were getting separated okay so another difference in the anaphase one and anaphase of mitosis is in this case the sister chromatid pair is getting separated so what will happen after they are separated once they are separated it will mark the beginning of telophase and once this in this telophase the cell will start again the formation of this nuclear membrane and after the formation of this nuclear membrane is completed the cleavage is done and the two cells will be formed now each of the cells again are deployed okay so they will need to do again meiosis 2 process without further going into your g1 s and g2 that means once this meiosis 1 process is over we are still not getting haploid cells we will have to do again meiosis 2 in order to get haploid cells so in case of this meiosis 2 what will happen again in this meiosis 2 these cells will again start to produce new cells so what will happen again the centrioles will move apart and in the prophase 2 here 
which is the important part of meiosis too again the membrane got dissolved the spinal fiber will form and again in the metaphase 2 they will align themselves in the metaphase plate so once they get aligned anaphase will begin okay so you can see they are getting aligned themselves in this metaphase plate so once this alignment is done they will start and now in this case just like mitosis here the sister chromatids will getting detached from each other both of them will move towards opposite pole and then the nucleus membrane will again reform after the formation of this nuclear membrane what will happen the cell will again undergo cleavage to form this haploid cells okay so now you have got haploid cells so these haploid cells are nothing but a gamete and both male and female produce its gamete cells in this male your sperm gamete cells are formed while egg are formed in female now the question comes that why we are different why those children were different in their look from their mom and dad so we have discussed about certain events the those events uh, were the first one was the crossing over that was taking place it is because of this crossing over the gene genetic variation that occurred in that crossing over leads to a difference one again this if you look at this sperm cells this sperm cells are randomly the gametes are randomly produced what does that means if you look uh, at this video this chromosome we we know that we are getting 23 chromosome from our mom and 23 from our dad so the probability of getting this chromosome or, or this chromosome is very very different for two children what I, what i'm trying to say is that let us suppose there is if if one of the children gets this chromosome okay and if another children gets this chromosome so they are different in their chromosome and it is because of this difference genetic variation is coming so this is the reason why the children are not completely identical to their mom and dad and they are also not completely identical to each other so random gametes that are produced and the formation of gametes depends on several things okay so there is a formula 2 to the power n and if you if the number of chromosome in our body is 23 so 2 to the power 23 which is equal to almost a millions that means millions of gametes are produced and each of the gametes have random chromosome and when this random chromosome fuses with egg cell a child is formed so these events are completely random okay and it is because of that we are not completely identical to our parents and it is also because of that we are not completely identical to our siblings these certain events that are occurring inside our body leads to a complete difference from us from our mom and dad okay so i hope you have understand this video in case if you have any question please uh, put your question in the comment section